And welcome back to Branson High School. You're part of the, uh, the core of education, you might say, at many high schools is the JROTC. We have Air Force JROTC here at Branson. And gentlemen, before I go any further, I want you to introduce yourselves, if you will. I am Cadet Technical Sergeant Leighton Files. I'm Cadet Second Lieutenant Nathan Bowles. I'm Cadet Second Lieutenant Ethan Zerbell. All right, and since I'm here, I'll, I'll, I'll ask Ethan <laughs> first. What is the role of you know, JROTC here at the Branson High School? We really want to foster leadership skills. We want to teach people how to take responsibility, learn how to just watch after their cadets, make sure that they know what they're doing. And then the best way we've done that is through community service events. Like specifically Honor Guard will have mission commanders and they're in charge of making sure every cadet's doing what they're supposed to be doing and making sure that all the community service hours get logged. And so we think community service is the best way to teach leadership skills. Yeah, I love that. such a foundational program, it seems like. I'm curious to know from each of you gentlemen, though, why did you want to you know, be a part of this? Like, what was maybe your reason? Well, I think uh, one of the biggest reasons why I wanted to be a part of the uh, ROTC here was because, you know, I, I would like to be... You know, I would have to have a position and be able to have that sort of leadership skills that would be applied through this uh, course. And you know, like after high school, I want to be going into the high, uh, going into military. So uh, I think it's just one of those ones that you go in and you have that skill already ready for you. And you know, it's yeah, it, it's something that's useful. Mm -hmm. and, and then, of course, you know, the, the backbone of any military unit, the sergeant, technical sergeant here. <laughs> uh, uh, if you will, answer the same question. Uh, whenever I was in eighth grade, my dad was telling me I should join, try to figure it out, and get all the leadership skills that they were talking about. Mm -hmm. And since I've joined, it's just been good people, good experience, and I've learned a lot more than I think I would have learned really anywhere else in high school. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, yeah, that's really cool. Did you, I don't think he answered. Oh, no, I, yeah. I haven't. That's I right. From you too. So, originally when I joined, it was for the PE credit. I didn't want to take <laughs> weights. <laughs> Honestly. But, Honesty, yeah. 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 After that first day, though, there was a real sense of family within the core, mm -hmm. and everyone was included, everyone was united, and it was just a really nice place to be. At that time in my life, I didn't really have a place I called home, mm -hmm. and so ROTC really became my family very quickly, mm -hmm. and it's made me really love the program. Yeah, yeah. You keep coming back to this idea of family, which I love hearing, especially at the high school level, and you know, whether you gentlemen choose to continue your military career or not, what do you feel like you're kind of learning just being in this program for each of you? I just feel like we're learning communication and leadership skills and how to work with others. Uh, I think, you know, uh, something we're learning here is not only how to work with other people around you, but uh, how, to, how to deal with yourself and uh, how, to, how to especially deal with, you know, your money and stuff like that after, you know, you get out of high school. Because, you know, a lot of stuff you get left out when you're in high school is something that, you, that doesn't really get taught a lot. So, you know, going in here, being able to learn leadership skills, teamwork, and being able to man manage stuff mm -hmm. is something that's very important. Mm -hmm. It sounds like all the things that the military has to offer, but it's also basic life skills that you're using. Learning. Yes, sir. Um, for me, what I feel like we're really learning is responsibility. If something doesn't happen, you can't really blame anyone else. Mm -hmm. If your job is to command the honor guard, you can't say, oh, this person distracted me. No, you're the one in charge. And so we're <laughs> learning a lot of responsibility, making sure that we are doing what we're supposed to do, we know what we're supposed to do, yeah. and that we get it done. The buck stops here, mm -hmm. basically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's it. That so honor guard, what does it all involve being part of that honor guard? Well, it, it just involves, you know, uh, being able to practice every Tuesday, but uh, being able to stay sharp while you're out there on the field or, you know, inside the building uh, just really depends on what kind of honor guard you're doing. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, being able to look sharp and being able to follow commands, you know, it, it after you get done, it gives you a self-accomplishment, you know, mm -hmm. um, makes you feel really nice about it. And, you know, we, we always talk afterwards, you know, what went well, what went wrong, what can we improve on? And, you know, it's something that you just like. That felt nice. All right. Upholding a long time tradition. Gentlemen, thank you very much for being with us. We do appreciate it. Yeah. You can just you step, step off out. that way, thank if you, you will. Yes, thank sir. you. Thank you sir. All right.
Air Force JROTC here good at Branson. Stuff. Here is one thing I've learned, you guys, is that there is so much good happening right here at Branson High School. And the amount of things these kids are learning, I wish I would have had. I mean, I had a great high school, but I'm like, dang, I wish I would have gone to Branson High School. I would be learning so much, and I'd have so many amazing skills today in my life. And every one of them has talked about family, family and teamwork yeah, yeah. and everything. That's what you want from a school. Absolutely. I mean, what more could you want? And, you know, I love that they said, you know, everyone's working together. They had the pep rally earlier today, the big game tonight. Everyone is excited. You can feel the kind of intensity and the excitement right here in this gym, even just with a small group of us. So right. we wish best of luck to the Branson Pirates tonight against Parkview. Thank you for joining us. Have a safe weekend. We'll see you back here Monday at 3 on Ozarks Live. Bye, everybody. Content segments.